Raids have always been the most pinnacle PvE activities in Destiny 2. Because of this, they give some of the best gear in the game and require 6 players. But what if I told you, you can get raid loot solo for free. Hey what's up guys, I'm Marshix, and if this is your first time watching my channel, I make guides to inform Destiny 2 players of easy and efficient ways to overcome whatever challenge you may be facing. I usually structure my guides to help both fire teams and solo players. Today we're going over all the raid sources that can be obtained completely solo. Be sure to subscribe for more content in the future. We just hit 500 subscribers, and I plan on having a giveaway at 1000. Before we jump into this, I need to go over a few things. With some of these jumps, you're going to need your mobility higher. So if you aren't able to follow the exact path on screen, try changing some gear so you get a higher mobility stat. Titans are also going to want Lion Rampant as well as Sword. This will allow you to swing, jump, swing, jump if you use the Catapult Lift. This will be important for one of the chests in the last Wish Raid. Warlocks will also want Wings of Sacred Dawn, and you want to pair that with Top Tree Dawn Blade. Okay, if you've been following the path on screen, this is the Wish Wall. Once you're here, you want to input this code. There are actually two codes on screen right now. The one on the left will teleport you to Morgath. This will allow you to get the second chest. And the code on the right will take you to Shiro Chi so you can get the first chest. Warlocks and Titans, you don't have to worry about doing the right code, just do the left code. This will allow you to get the second chest, and then you can just backtrack from there to get the first. Hunters unfortunately cannot get the second chest, so Hunters will only be able to use the Shiro Chi checkpoint. The last wish gear can be armor or weapons, although certain weapons drop from certain chests, so you won't be able to get everything. You can also get raid mods, such as Taken Armaments, Taken Barrier, etc. For the Garden of Salvation, these chests, I believe you can only get armor and weapons that you already have obtained from the raid. So say you've done the raid one time and you got the boots, you will only be able to get the boots. However, if you've gotten everything, you will be able to get anything from that loot table. Those chests also drop the Garden of Salvation raid mods. I'm going to leave the gameplay showing off all the rest of the chests, but I'm going to get out of here. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. Leave a comment if I missed anything, or if there's anything you want me to show in the future. Go check out Unlikely Guardians. There are new episodes airing every Saturday. I want to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.